guys, welcome to my very first video on the Immortal Beauty YouTube channel. My name is Catherine Nurse. I am the founder and CEO of Immortal Beauty. And today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to keep your Immortal Beauty candles in the best possible shape. We don't want any ugly candles around here, guys. We have to keep them looking right, looking tight. It ain't right, it ain't tight. So we have a few tips for you today to be able to keep your Immortal candles in the best shape possible. Tip number one. So the first thing you want to do when you get your Immortal Beauty candle, or when you get any candle really, is you want to trim the wick. The wick on a candle is gonna come super long, and when you light it, it's going to cause a really high flame, which can be very dangerous, and which can be very, was, was it in Trinidad? Like, sorry, in Trinidad what we like to say is, it go burn black, which means really that it's sooting, which is that the wick is not burning well, and black smoke is coming out of the candle. And that then deposits all around your candle and all inside your candle, it's really just not cute. So you always have to keep your wick trimmed. The first time you get your candle, you have to trim it, and then continually afterwards, every time you light your candle, you have to trim your wick to like a quarter of an inch. I have a very fancy device for wick trimming. It is called a wick trimmer. Welcome back, Captain Obvious. It is basically a scissors that is very fancy because at the end of it, it has this little tray and this catches all the blackened parts of the wick that you don't want burning into your candle. However, I realize that this is not available in most households. You can also use just a regular scissors, but when you use a regular scissors, the wick trimmings tend to fall into the candle and you wanna keep that clean. But we'll talk about that in tip number three. Tip number two. The first time you burn a candle, you want to burn it for as long as possible. The max amount of time you really wanna be burning a candle is about four hours, but that, for the Immortal Beauty candles, is quite enough time to get a lovely wax pool that reaches the edge of your candle jar. This will basically make your candle burn great all the way down. I have an example of what happens when you don't get a really uniform, nice, wide wax pool in your candle when you start burning it. There's actually a name for this, it's called tunneling, and it's basically when your wax only burns in a really small little pool all the way down to your candle, wasting all this good, lovely, fragrant wax around. You'll tell that this is not an immortal beauty candle. <laughs> tunneling is bad. My candles do not do that once that first burn is burnt all the way around to the edges. Tip number three. Clean your candle. This is a really bad candle to show this in because this specific candle, I don't know if you can see, only has one little bit of trimming in it right now because I'm obsessive about having clean candles. I hate to see people's candles with all this like black wick trimming swimming around the candle surface making it not cute. Yes, I'm judging your candles, I'm sorry. That's just what life is about. It's also really dangerous because those little wick trimmings can catch a fire. Remember, this is a flame, guys. This is not, this is not baby stuff. This is serious. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> anyway, so what you wanna do is you just wanna make sure that all these little trimmings are out of your candle. Sometimes I just use the end of my wick trimmer or scissors and I just pick them up. Sometimes I use a paper towel just to make sure that when I start burning my candle, the wax is as clear as possible to make the safest burning experience. Tip number four. This is my fourth and final tip for taking care of your candles. And it's funny because it's not actually a candle care tip, but it's more of what you can do with your candle jar after you've burnt out your candle. You pretty much know when your candle is done. The wax is very, very, very low at the bottom and the wick will no, no longer want to burn. At this point in time, you can still save that lovely, beautiful candle jar, which is why we make ours so gorgeous when we sell our immortal candles so that you can use them afterwards. All you have to do is pour hot boiling water into the candle remnants. What that will do, it will melt the cap final candle wax and you'll be able to, I don't know, poke anything in there like a pen and dislodge the wick and everything will float up to the top. All the wax, everything will float up to the top. So when the water cools, you'll just be able to take off this like little disc of candle wax. Okay. So you should have 
a beautiful empty candle jar so that you can put whatever you like in. What I like to do is I like to use my ambre candle jars to store my makeup brushes. Usually I'm very obsessed with keeping my makeup brushes clean, but of course, the day I'm showing them to the world, they are a hot mess. Don't judge me, please. I'm quietly judging you. Or, um, this makes me look very artistic, but I'm not. But I like to um, store my different colored pens or pencils for my desk. I don't have to dance. Um, I have a lab, so I keep them on my lab services. You can also use your empty candle jars. You can fill them with pebbles and put succulents in them. You can do all sorts of stuff. You can use them for flowers. However, my house is just not plant friendly right now and it's dry season. So colored pens it is. So guys, that was just a really quick tutorial about how you can keep and use your Immortal Beauty candles and have them always looking beautiful and great even after you are finished burning them. So also what we want to announce in this video is that our Immortal Beauty candles, both in the Ambre and Basile fragrance, are now back in stock on our website. So you can see that link down in the description box to get your Ambre and Basile candles right now. I guess that is it. We look forward to seeing you next time. Subscribe because we have lots more uh, amazingly weird content coming from Immortal Beauty straight to you right here on this YouTube channel. So stay tuned. Thanks guys. Bye.